What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at label color with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at label color. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at label colors. And up until now, we've been looking at basic other widgets and how to change their colors. And it's been pretty easy. Labels are a little bit different. So in this video, we're gonna change the background color. We're gonna set this purple. We're gonna change the actual color of the text itself. We're gonna make it bold. We're gonna make it italic. We're gonna give it a little border. You can see there's this like kind of black outline on this. And that's basically what we're gonna look at in this video. So. I've got a new file called label underscore color dot pi and a label underscore color dot kv language file. And this is the exact same code from our last video. If you didn't see that, check the link in the comment section below. The only change I made was I, I updated this to say label color dot kv, which points to our new kv file. Our app is still called awesome app, right? And uh, everything else is the same. I'm using the sublime text editor and the git bash terminal as always. So let's head over to our label color KV design file. And this is the same file from the last video, but obviously we don't need all this stuff. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. We don't need, let's get rid of like the submit thing. And we only need one label, just deal with that. So, okay, we've got a box layout. We're using that, we were using that in the last video. Let's go ahead and just use that now. So to set the color of the background and the text of a label is a little bit different than everything else. You know. In the last few videos, we looked at just setting the background color and then using these zero, 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 you know, number, 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 number. Uh, these are between zero and one. We talked about the different RGB values, or you could take a specific RGB value divided by 255 for your reds, greens, and blues. This last one is sort of transparency. And we've talked about all that. We can't just do this for labels. For whatever reason, labels are a little bit more complicated. It's not hard, it's just, uh, it takes a little bit more. So what we wanna do is come to our label here and let's get rid of this. This is where we designated the label, the default label. We wanna work in the actual label itself. So we've got a label and a text input box and a button. So let's change the color of this label. So we start out, we can give this a background color like we had before and we would already put it all in here. So this is gonna be, let's set this to red. So that's gonna be one, uh, zero, or no, red's kind of annoying. Let's set it to blue. So zero, zero, one, one, that's blue. Now if we save this and run it, this isn't gonna do anything. So let's go Python label underscore color dot pi. So we save this and run it, we see we've got name, we can see it hasn't changed, it's still black. Now this is red, the button's red as we designated in the last video. And this is gray as we designated in the last video, but the label hasn't changed at all. Now we could do some things to this label like we've done other, other places. We could go font underscore size and set that equal to like 45. We save this and run it. We see now the text is really big, but the color hasn't changed. So to change the color with a label, we need to set a canvas and say before. And inside of here, we need to set a color. And this is gonna be an RGBA color. Remember red, green, blue, alpha. And then we set this to self dot background underscore color. Now we need a rectangle, so we could put rectangle. And for here we have to designate the size. So let's say self dot size. And for position, let's go self dot position. So now that's all we have to do. And now whatever we designate as our color up here will be the actual color. So this should be blue. If we go ahead and save this and run it. We get blue up here and it's just that easy. Now I just put a simple blue, like before we can set the color using any sort of color picker. So I just went to Google and type color picker and here we get 182 by 66 by 245. So let me just copy this real quick and head back over here so we can set this color. So here this would be 182 divided by 255. And this would be 66 divided by 255. And this one would be 245 divided by 255. Get rid of that. And if we save this and ran it, we should get a purple background, which is fairly tacky, but whatever. 
And that's how you do that. So same way to change the colors like everything else with the RGBA values, you just have to set it up a little differently using a canvas and a rectangle. So, okay, that's cool. Now, how do we change the color of the text inside of here? Well, let's come over here and let me just kind of comment here, text color or text properties. And here we can set the color to anything we want. So if we want this to be, I don't know, green, we could go 0101, save this and run it. Now our text inside of here is green, which is very nice looking. <laughs> I'm bad at picking colors, but you get the idea. Now we can also set the boldness. So we could set the bold to true. Save this and run it. We can see now our text is bold. And you can sort of compare it to this down here. This is regular text. This is bold. It's obviously bolder. It's sort of thicker text. So that's cool. What else can we do? We can bring this back up. We can set the italics. So italic. Also, we can set that equal to true. Save this and run it. Now it's sort of slanty a little bit, right? So name is in italics. So that's cool. We can also set an outline color. So let's go outline uh, underscore color. And this is just going to be RGB. So zero, 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 that would be black. Notice there's no one on there. You don't have to do that. All right. So you can't just use the outline color. You also have to set the width of it. Like, it's like, how much outline do we want? So let's go outline underscore width. And let's just set this equal to say two. So let's go ahead and save this, run it. And you can see we get a faint black outline. I mean, you can go crazy with this, you know, you can do anything you want. So let's say we do it five, you know, really crazy. <laughs> All right, maybe that's not so crazy, but it's darker outline, right? You could, you know, whatever you want, pop it up to 10. You get just really crazy, crazy, All right? So that's cool. I'm not really sure if we played with this, we could go, let's say 0.5. Try to set the transparency, save this and run it. Doesn't really do anything, right? So uh, you can't really use that there. But you know, you could change this to any color you want. If we wanted to change this to blue, this would be one. Save this and run it. Well, that is looking really nice. <laughs> then now we have a blue outline, right? So a uh, pretty simple to change the background color of your uh, lay of your labels. It's just a little different than the other kind of background color changes we've done in the past for buttons and, uh, and things like that. So, so again, just remember, use your background color, but to use it, you have to set a canvas dot before designate the color as RGB, set yourself to the background color, which is, I guess, this guy right here, and then set a rectangle of size self and position position. So you have the whole size of the, the widget becomes sort of the canvas that you can change the color to. And that's easy. And then you can change your text color just, you know, in the regular way by setting the color. And you can change the bold and the italics and the outline color and the outline width, which is just good fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Kodobi.com and I'll see you in the next video.